So hello and welcome to another movie studio tutorial how to use the trimmer by martinvideodiy.com So what we're going to do here so the first thing is we're going to use the trimmer and you know this is the you know very underused tool feature here on movie studio and in Sony Vegas itself but you know uh, from now on I'm going to show you what you can do with this and you know gonna be covering everything but pretty much just the basics here so basically first thing we need to do we need to add some media so to do this let's go to project media and let's go import media and now I'm gonna hit go here under my videos so you have to find this whatever you have the video and I'm gonna use this one here click open and now as you can see it's been added to my uh, project media so anything that we add into movie studio will show under project media so every music pictures whatever you added they always show here now the next step is we want to preview okay what this uh, footage is so what you want to do is to make sure that this icon you see this little icon you go here auto preview is actually turned on okay when it's turned on you can see it goes deep that means it's turned on and as you can see, it shows me that the preview, but I cannot edit it here because if I click, actually, if I click on a trim, you can see the footage simple disappear. Now, to do this, all you're going to do is go back to the media and right click open it trimmer. Now, once I open it trimmer, you can see that I now can see the footage as well below. So I'm just going to grab this five points here and push this out. Okay. And and pretty much everything you see here okay is exactly the same thing you have in the timeline so we're not going to cover all this again like i said we're just going to cover the basics here now one of the things i want you to pay attention as well here is pretty much this is all you need to know is these two points okay the starting point okay sorry the start point so the setting point and the set out point so beginning and the end okay so i'm gonna do i just want to grab from this footage from this media i just want to grab the bit when the guy is actually airborne here so i just okay that is my in point so i gotta set the marker there okay and now i'm gonna move my cursor forward while it's still airborne okay my out point okay and set this as my out point and as you can see is the trimmers has trimmed a little bit of footage that i want to use for me now my my next step is to add this to the timeline and to add it to the timeline as you can see my cursor is right at the beginning here and it's only giving me the option to add this uh, footage this media i just selected from the, the cursor which means if i add it is it going to be in front of the cursor here now I also have the other one, which is add to timeline up to the cursor. So to activate this, all you need to do is grab the cursor and push it forwards. Now notice as I push this forwards, it will activate this icon here. Okay, look at that, right? And as you can see, he added. Okay. Now there is another one, the option uh, fit to fill. Now fit to fill, uh, probably better do another tutorial. We're probably going to be using when we start to do some properly editing on later tutorials but um, you know fit to fill is when you have a, a open space where you break the footage and you can actually tell the, the trimmer to add this footage into your timeline and it kind of fills that empty space but I will show you later on in another video what this is now another thing I want to do before I lose this footage uh, this footage is actually create a sub clip so I'm going to create a sub clip just using this uh, bit of footage I just selected and I'm going to add it to my project media. Remember, just like I said, any media that we create or you add to movie studio will show on the under project media. So I'm going to create a sub clip and I'm going to name it as um, basically because it's just what I got. So I'm going to name it as Airborne. OK, and click OK. As you can see, it's been added to my uh, project media now i got i have two options like i just told you i can actually click on one of those icons and add to the timeline from the cursor which means will show from the front of the cursor if i add to the timeline up to the cursor and then it adds the footage but the cursor actually jumps forward so if i add it look what happened 
okay so now from it moves forward okay so from the cursor and up to the cursor is a little different but you know over time as you use it you do understand what that is now if i grab this the trim back and put it dock it into the, to the workspace there okay and now if you look at the footage that i have here which is the footage i just selected it's just airborne okay so there you go so here is how to use uh, the trim, uh, very useful tool. Uh, I recommend that you really get used to use it because uh, uh, it's how you take bits and bobs of your uh, footage and, and create your media. So it does help you a uh, hell of a lot when uh, it's done to editing. So once again, I'm Zenuns. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And this was the tutorial how to use Movie Studio Trimmer. Bye bye for now.